All right, greetings everybody. If you're going to build cigar box guitars, you need to become familiar with cigar boxes. So this video here, I'm going to talk about everything, everything that I can think of imaginable that has to do with the cigar box itself. And I'm going to cram it into this video. All right, so I'm going to try to go as fast as I can and just cover as much information as I can. So first off the bat, I really like these Arturo Fuente boxes. Okay, they're, they're um, wooden sides and back. Typically the top is MDF, which is just like a manufactured. So what, the way to tell that is to get a knife and just kind of shave a little bit away right here and this it'll reveal that wood right there. Typically it's, like I said, it's MDF, but every once in a while you'll find one with a, with a, a wooden top. Anyhow, these here are my favorite boxes. You can sand these things down, and when you do sand them down, all you do is just kind of grab it, rip it apart, right? Just get all the paper and just rip it all the way, all, all the way down, and then sand this thing with sandpaper. And this is what it looks like when, when you're done. After you sand it and stain it, right, these guitars, they, they look amazing. That's the same box. It's an Arturo Fuente box just peeled and sanded and of course they put an f hole on there all right so those are the arturo fruente boxes awesome 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 boxes um, and they also come in different sh flavors in other words they're small ones big ones um, what i like to do is i like to do these four corner braces Right, that's all the bracing that I really do on these guys here. I do bracing underneath the neck where I notch. I'll put blocks underneath there and screw them in from the back. But again, our two Fuente boxes are awesome. Okay, so moving on to the genuine Cuban cigar box. The way to tell a genuine Cuban cigar box, there's three things to look for. Number one is this logo in the top right corner. It's on, it's red or orange on yellow, and it's got like the fingerprint of a tobacco leaf up here in the upper upper right. Um, it has this specific looking logo, and then also on the back it says. And shows. So if you see the, all three of those things, this branding on the back, this particular looking logo, and then this fingerprint on the top, then you have a genuine Cuban cigar box. Now, the, the boxes themselves are not any better. It's just that collectors like them better or whatever, but you can always look inside and see what, you, what you're dealing with. This one here it looks like it's wooden all around. So this is actually a really good cigar box all right so yeah and I, and I have a bunch of these guys you start collecting them you, you find these things at um, antique shops at uh, what do you call it flea markets whatever like that again look for those logos like that that's an indicator right off the bat that you have a genuine Cuban cigar box A lot of times people don't even know what they have, you know what I'm saying? So you can just get it for, for dirt cheap, you know what I'm saying? Other times people, they know what they got, and so you'll have to negotiate with them and, you know, figure out if it's worth it. I think they're cool just to have. Um, these boxes here are pretty much just cardboard all the way around. They're really strong and sturdy, right? But when you cut them, you can tell that it's MDF, right? Um, I've had really good luck with these things, though. To be honest with you, nothing wrong with these boxes at all. Java boxes. All right. These boxes are really good for, I think, for electric guitar. In fact, well, I, I take that back. Every guitar I've ever built using these boxes here has always been cool. I don't know why. I think maybe it's because of these thick walls. Um, the, in, the inside is this is solid wood. In fact, you don't even need to reinforce this guy at all. Just screw that thing down, cut out your size. These are really awesome for electric guitars. 
the Java boxes. And they come in different colors and stuff. The ones here that are painted solid, they are MDF, right? So that's one downer about that. If you sand off this paint, it's it's uh, just regular MDF. So, but the sides are, are still good. So you have MDF on the top and then really wood on the side. So that's, that's why I just leave these guys alone. Um, these guys. Okay, so these boxes are amazing. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. I call it Tabac. Other people call it Tabac. Whatever the case is. These boxes are actually made out of mahogany. And, yeah. So who makes guitars or cigar boxes out of mahogany? These guys do. Anyhow, so, when you, of course, when you peel it and sand it, you are left with a legit, legit looking instrument. Again, you see that logo right there? Sand it down and dark stain it. Um, Padron. These guys here make really good boxes too. This is um, um, solid wood, right? Come with hinges and everything. Padron boxes. Uh, again, what I like to do with these things here is, um, well, two things, right? Um, take take the hinge off on the back. These hinges, right? And then the top will come loose, and you can drill a hole in it and cut an F hole. And that's what I did on this guy right here, right? This was a tobacco box. In fact, you can see here, right? This is. So you kind of distress it and hit it with steel wool. You can get these boxes to look really, really awesome. So that's what it looked like pre and post, before and after. Same box. Okay, moving along here. Here's a small little box. I'll probably make a little ukulele out of this guy. Solid wood, right? Solid wood. This will be an awesome little ukulele. So you're gonna find some like really cool decorative boxes. This one here is is um, no, it's actually made out of wood, solid wood. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. Huh, awesome. That's that's an awesome box. Normally these boxes they look pretty. They're just like um, real strong cardboard. Um, you have to really reinforce it. This one, however, is not. This one is a nice wooden box, so I lucked out with that one. Sometimes you find them covered with leather. Check it out, suede leather. And this already's got the, the gold corners on it. So these are called Monte Cristos. Leather, isn't that awesome? Oh, here's another leather one. It's got black leather. And again, look at those corners on it. Isn't that cool? Ta-da! Yep. I can already hear this guitar already. Yeah! Alright, All right, moving on to the antique boxes. I got some awesome, awesome antique boxes. Okay, so I inherited this one from my grandmother. She kept her jewelry stuff in this. This is a solid box. I don't think I can ever turn this one into a cigar box guitar because it's so cool just as a box. I keep a lot, a lot of my metal parts in there. But I do have some of these right here that I found at um, like antique shops. And again, these are solid, solid wood. Um, it's kind of warped, right? But it could be reinforced. That could be, turn into a really cool guitar. Some of these guys are like just cardboard, but the artwork on them is so cool. So just, just reinforce the inside. A lot of times what I like to do on these kind of boxes is take a razor, right, and cut, cut off this thing here just as neat as possible, right, and then turn this thing over and have this be the top instead of this side here. So let's kind of flip over that top. That's a cool trick that you can do with these older boxes, especially when the inside is cooler than the outside. 
This one here, somebody used to put grease and tools and stuff in there, but you can see how the paper's all rotted. Isn't that awesome? This thing even smells authentic, like an old garage. That's a nice cigar box there. Again, this, these small little wooden boxes would be great for ukuleles. Um, I definitely would reinforce them just to just to give them that extra strength. Plus, it's an old box, you know. You never know; they're, they're kind of brittle, really light. This is a paper box, but again, look how old that thing is. Oh, it even says what 1951 on the top. If these boxes could tell a story. What would they tell? So if I turn this thing into a guitar, you'll tell a story, yay. All right, this box is legit. I got so many, oh my gosh, this one is, look at that one. Awesome, awesome. Antique cigar boxes. I can go on and on and on. I got so many of these things here. This one here. This one is so cool. Look at the old sticker on this thing here. I can only imagine what this guitar would be like if I actually committed to making a cigar box guitar out of that thing all right so that's it that is it oh yeah I do have one more one more box it's called the nothing box all right I try to keep this box full and yeah it looks like it's full full of nothing all right these are the transparent boxes reticle boxes all right and the nice thing about this here is that you know obviously you can cut sound holes and stuff like that and you can actually see through it Here's one for example. Right? I like to tell the kids, hey, you want to see the guts? Right? So you can see the springs and the switches and the wiring and the potentiometers. This one here's got a SM57 capsule pickup. So it's kind of cool that you can kind of see through it, see what's inside of it. So I call that the nothing box. All right, so that's about a wrap. I did have just a couple of more boxes I wanted to show you. These black Partagas boxes, and they have the wooden sides and backs. The tops typically are, are MDF, right? But you can reinforce them, and these are awesome, awesome, solid boxes. Um, I always like try to like snag these little... Um, tiny little guys just for like nuts and bolts and stuff just to have laying around right sometimes i make foot pedals out of these or distortion boxes right little boxes like that they're cool um oh yeah so and then last but not least okay you don't have to have a box right i mean you can actually just make stuff up right so i got the plans for a little mini les paul Right? And so I'm going to build a little three string Wah! electric Les Paul. I got this these mini pickups, right? That are going to go in there perfect, right? And this is a solid piece of mahogany and it's the right thickness and everything, man. So this guitar here, it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this video. Tell your friends. If you have any questions at all, be sure to hit me up. Until I see you again, remember, six strings or three strings too many.